In Loudoun County, the school board is trying to halt Virginia's attorney general from convening a special grand jury. That jury would examine how school leaders handled an investigation involving a 15-year-old accused of sexually assaulting two different students at two different high schools. Fox 5's Maureen Ume is live in Ashburn with the latest. Maureen, good morning. Good morning to you. So what's happening here is the Attorney General Jason Miras has uh, wanted to convene a grand jury. That grand jury proceeding is private. And so the details of how LCPS handled these uh, sex abuse cases uh, would not be made public. LCPS is suing, wanting these proceedings made public. Uh, they think they would be in the best interest for folks to hear exactly how they handled and investigated these two matters. So that's where we are today. A judge will be deciding whether or not the public will get to hear the details of this case. So that will happen later at 10 this morning. But as you said, this is really stemming from uh, these two sex abuse cases uh, that happened a while back here in Loudoun County. A 15-year-old was accused of attacking a student here at the school here behind me, Stonebridge High School, in a bathroom there. And while awaiting trial, he was allowed to attend another high school where the 15-year-old then sexually assaulted a second girl. In January, a judge found that the 15-year-old girl, uh, the 15-year-old boy rather, was guilty of sexual battery, abduction, and two counts of sodomy. LCPS has not released the results of their investigation into that case, uh, citing privacy reasons there. We did speak to the father of one of the two victims. He says what's most important right now for him is that these grand jury proceedings are completed. I feel that, that the special grand jury will come up with something that will hopefully make some people accountable. I'm surprised it's closed um, because the uh, Board of Education and the school board has come under such criticism for working in secrecy. So again, a judge later on this morning will decide if these proceedings should be made public. Uh, as for the father of that victim, uh, he says he will be there no matter what, wanting to know exactly what's going on. Uh, but again, the heart of the matter now is whether or not these proceedings will be made public so folks can hear exactly how LCPS handled this matter. Uh, the Attorney General's office does not want that to happen. LCPS wanting it to be as open as possible. No secrets they're saying. We'll have to see how this all plays out. That's the very latest from here in Ashburn. Back to you.